Hi, it's Brian Shiro from FMARS. I'm going to show you the spacesuit today and how we get ready for an EVA. That's what we call our field work outside. This is our FMARS spacesuit. As you can see, it's pretty big. It has our name tag on it there in the pocket. The all important Mars flag and FMARS patch. And each suit is numbered so that we can easily identify each other in the field. So I'll put this on for you. Step in like this. Zips in the back, unfortunately. Sometimes we need help. <laughs> Christine's going to help. There we go. So that's the main suit. It's made of heavy canvas, it's reinforced in different places. Um, the kind of odd sizes that we have to try different suits on to find one that works. So next is the boot. We try to wear warm boots that are also somewhat waterproof. Like that. Okay. So the next thing is the pack. And Joe's done a lot of work on these packs since we got here. I'm putting the finishing touches right now on one of the spacesuit backpacks. And basically tore it completely apart, rebuilt all the components of it, the hoses, uh, spray painted the backpack frame. Um, if I was at home, I would actually wash the, uh, the cloth parts of the backpack. Uh, but we also have new backpack covers that my mother sewed up and donated. Uh, so these things are going to look good as them. Inside the packs are some fans, and the fans suck in air and blow the air through the hoses into our helmets so we don't suffocate. So that's much appreciated. Christy's going to help me put on the pack. Okay. Oh, there you go. These uh, suits were all made by Mars Society volunteers. They're not real suits, as you can tell. But they uh, simulate some of the bulkiness and you know, cumbersome nature of real spacesuits. Okay, so here's the helmet. I'm putting on my air hoses now. I can feel the air coming in. It feels good. It's cool. I can breathe. And uh, of course, the final step our gloves. One of the important parts of our simulation is the bulky gloves, which are just key gloves. We put these on. Like that. We pull it on, make sure there's no skin showing. And there you go. There's the SMR suit. Ready to go to Mars. So I'm going to put uh, the tape and hold on to the mic here for safety so that her radio stays in place. We can hear her voice communication through the EVA. So I'm going to cut some athletic tape and I'm going to place it over the two ends of her throat mic and then let her tap it down where it feels tight so that it makes good contact with her vocal cord areas. I'm going to cut another piece of tape. And we're going to tape her earpiece in since these earpieces are made for people with gigantic ears, <laughs> and which none of us have. So then she can go ahead and pat that down there. And that should hold her earpiece in so she can hear when we talk to her. Want to test it? Sure. Okay. Testing on the tree. I hear you. Five by five. How do you hear me? Five by two loud and clear. Once we're suited up and have our radios attached, we're ready to go to the airlock where we spend two minutes before we can go outside. From Devon Island, this is Brian Shiro saying thank you for watching. Remember, you can follow this expedition at fmars.org or on my blog at astronauthire.com. On to Mars!